In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a feline castration. We have a feline cadaver available for this demonstration. And he's positioned in the way that I typically like them to be positioned. It allows good access to the testicles. However, some people prefer them on their back or completely lateral with the legs both off to one side. Once they're anesthetized, then we need to prep the area. And with feline castration, what's typically done is the hair is plucked off of the scrotum. And so a finger and thumb is used to sort of pinch the skin and the other finger and thumb on your other hand plucks the hair off of the scrotum. Once I'm done plucking, now it's time to scrub the area. So I use exam gloves and we have some chlorhexidine and some rinse solution. The rinse solution is a mixture of water and alcohol. Pick up one of the gauze, transfer it to my other hand. And basically I cover the surface of the scrotum with the scrub solution and then gently scrub the scrotum. Then take some rinse solution squeeze them on there to rinse the scrub solution off. So you repeat that <clears throat> three to four times. It should take about two minutes. And once that's done, now I'm ready to put some gloves on, sterile gloves, and get my pack ready and start the procedure. I'm using the open gloving technique you can use a, a sterile surgery gown if you wish. I'm picking up this edge of my glove. I'm sliding it on my left hand until my fingers are in. Then I take this beaded cuff and I slide it down my arm like that. This hand is now sterile. I insert my fingers 
in the fold of the right glove. Take it off the packaging. This opens up the hole of the glove. I put my right hand in and snap it down and roll the cuff down. Open up the pack. And typically I will use a single layer drape for feline castrations. You can use just one drape with small hole cut into the drape. You can also double drape with two layers if you like. I'm going to make an incision over each testicle through the scrotum. I'm going to start with one. And while gently pressing or pinching the testicle, I make my incision. When I pinch this testicle, what it does is it forces the testicle out of the incision so that as I cut, I can assess just how deep I'm going. So here's our testicle. I'm going to take a curved mosquito forceps, one that's relatively small. I'm going to wrap it around like this. I'm going to come, I'm going to come underneath like that. I'm going to open the jaws and put the spermatic cord in the jaws and clamp. Now I take my blade and I cut the cord. And now I'm going to slide this knot off of my mosquito and onto the spermatic cord. So I take a gauze and I just push it and slide it and cinch it down so it's nice and tight. I can trim off the extra tissue. And normally this tissue retracts into the scrotum in a live patient. Now we'll do the other testicle. Some people use a 10 blade, a 15 blade, or a 12 blade. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I'm putting some compression here in the testicle so that it comes out.
I'm pulling on the testicle. And I'm gently breaking down connective tissue that's around the spermatic cord that's kind of preventing me from exteriorizing this even more. So if I fan this out, you can see there's a little bit of connective tissue there that I can break down. Rubbing it with the gauze helps. So now I have about that much length. And I take my curved mosquito forceps. I'm gonna wrap it around. And it's a pretty tight leash. Now I'm gonna go around again, like underneath and bring the tips up. I'm gonna to try to open the jaws. There's not a lot of room. And put that spermatic cord in my clamp. Take my blade. Cut the testicle off. And now I'm going to slip this knot off of my mosquito and onto the spermatic cord and cinch it down. Usually I won't suture these or glue these closed. They seal on their own relatively quickly. They may need an e-collar after surgeries, but that's about it. And that ends uh, feline castration.